lovelies, it's Lindsay from my lovely little blog. I'm really excited to be filming this video because it's kind of been in the works for a while now. Anyway, just to give you a little background, um, one of my fellow blogger friends, her name is Charlotte, she writes Mason Jars and Fireflies, and it's an adorable little blog and she's a total beauty lover like I am. We are just so beauty soul sisters. We love anything beauty. Just to kind of tell you a little bit more about what this whole new project is all about, it's going to be called Drugstore Beauty Battles, and what's going to happen is once a month, both Charlotte and I are going to pick one, two, three um, products a month from drug stores. Um, so Alme, Garnier, Revlon, CoverGirl, any brand that you can pick up at a drugstore, nothing above that. Um, and we are going to review them. And it's going to be really fun to watch because we might have completely opposite views. One might love a product, the other might hate it. So it's going to be really fun and kind of compare and contrast. Anyway, we finally have our products ready to review, and I'm really excited to jump into them. We did three products this month. So the first product was one that I picked, and it is the Garnier um, Beauty Balm. I have all the products on right now. Um, so I have this, I got it in light medium. I think there's only two shades, light medium and like medium dark. So I got the light obviously because I'm very fair skinned as you can tell. I was really excited about this and beauty balms kind of are a huge, huge thing um, overseas and they just now started coming um, in the US and be kind of becoming like a thing. And this is as far as I know, Garnier is the only one um, who makes like a drugstore version. All the rest are from higher end brands that you can get at like Sephora and stuff. So it was really cool when Garnier released this. Basically what it is, is it is a primer, a moisturizer, a foundation. Um, it has SPF, it has mineral Minerals, vitamins it's kind of like the one for people who don't really like to do their makeup or who don't who are kind of like not fussy about it this is like the product for you because it's gonna be like your one you don't have to do all the necessary steps that like say I do every day like I put my prime my moisturizer my primer and all that stuff on this does it all for you I actually was pretty hesitant about it because it is kind of like a tinted moisturizer and I do wear full coverage foundation every day so I was pretty nervous that it wasn't going to cover the way I wanted it to and actually when we first picked this up it and had an idea for the um, drugstore beauty battles it was quite a while ago now um, and it was still kind of like wintry here and there wasn't a ton of sun out and it was very drab and my face wasn't that clear and I actually didn't love it at first but now that um, the reviews were approaching I kind of pulled it out again and tried it again and I've actually really been loving it um, in the summer it's really really nice it gives your skin a really really pretty glow and I actually used it all over my chest because as you can tell like right here I have a couple little like splotches I just get on they're not like pimples they're just splotches I don't even know what they are I get them all the time so it gives your skin the most the prettiest like sun-kissed kind of bronzy illuminating glow and it's 0.5 fluid ounces which I'm not sure if that's bigger than most like foundations had a lot of pigment for being a tinted moisturizer it covered a lot better than I thought it would um, so I do think this is really awesome for people who are low maintenance like I know two of my really good friends they don't wear foundation every day um, so this would be something that was really awesome for them it's just gonna even out your skin tone add a bit of color um, kind of hide any imperfections you you might have it's super super lightweight it has SPF built in it's kind of just no fuss and that's what's awesome about it for people who do wear foundation every day um, it's good for days that you just kind of feel like being uh, like what's the word <laughs> lazy and you don't feel like doing all that or if your skin is really in good condition it really is beautiful on um, and I have been wearing it a lot on my chest because it doesn't seem to make it break out and it just gives it a really pretty glow also think it would be good to take to the beach because you don't really want to wear or like to the pool because you don't really want to wear like foundation but some people might not be comfortable wearing just bare face and it has SPF in it so that would be awesome for that as well. I really really like this it's about $13 like I said it's a really good size product like I don't I'm not sure if 2.5 ounces is what usual foundations are but either way it like surprised me like how pigmented it was and how much there was of it um, so I would definitely recommend to really anybody to at least try and like CVS and Walgreens 
Walgreens have pretty good um, return policies on beauty products. So you, if you use it just once or twice, you can usually bring it back and just say it didn't work out for you and there's no questions asked really. Um, so I mean it's worth a try and like I said, I actually really, really like it even if I don't use it for anything other than um, my chest in the summer. Maybe just like at the pool or at the beach, but I actually really, really like this a lot. So I would give this an overall, so I would say 4 out of 5 for this. Next two products Charlotte picked out, um, and one is called the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara, and this is a new one, just came out, pretty, pretty picky about mascara, um, but this one actually I, I liked, um, the brush is pretty typical for brushes, it has this, if you can tell, this little like thing where you can bend the brush, but I don't really know like what the point of that is. Your finger have black stuff on it. Um, so I, I liked it. I didn't fall in love with it. My everyday, um, I'm trying to get you guys to see my lashes. My everyday mascara is Ulta mascara and sometimes I layer different mascaras and such. My lashes are pretty limp and I even curled these um, and so it doesn't really add extra volume which I tend to like um, but it didn't clump which is something that I really don't like so that's nice. It might be really nice layered and I haven't tried that yet to layer with something um, a little bit more uh, volumizing which it's funny because this is supposed to be like Volume Express Mega Plush. And maybe I didn't put enough on, but it's just okay. I don't I wouldn't get it again. It didn't completely wow me. And this is about six or seven dollars, something like that. It's worth a try. Some people might really like it. I think Charlotte told me she really likes it, so we'll have to see her review. Um, but for me, it just didn't live up to my Alta one, which is ten dollars, a little bit more expensive, but I like it a lot so I would probably give it a like two out of five. The last product is another product that Charlotte picked and this is um, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains and these just came out and we were really excited because both Charlotte and I both know about the Tarte Lip Stains which I actually own and it's one of my favorite 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 products. They run about $24 um, and this was supposed to be like the drugstore dupe version and I was a little hesitant because the Tarte Lip Stains are so so nice um, but I actually might go out on a limb here and say that these might be better than the Tarte Lip Stains. Um, I have it on right now and it's just a, I picked the lightest lightest color because it was like um, a color I didn't have at all yet and it's just very very like pink if you can tell kind of like a mauve pink um, and I really like that it just gives your lips a little bit more color than your um, natural color and it's pretty much the same look as a Tarte so it has like a crayon here so there is the swatch and again I thought being like right in front of a window would be like useful, but maybe not. So there's that. Um, it has a slight shimmer to it, but nothing crazy. Um, I definitely want to go back and get like four or five more colors. I was a little hesitant at first to go all out, even though they looked so nice. I was like, eh, they might suck. So I just got one, but I'm going to get more of these for sure. They are so comparable to the $24 Tarte Lip Stains. I actually think they stay on longer than the Tarte. They actually do more staining. Um, the, the thing that is nice about the Tarte for me is that the Tarte is all natural. Um, whereas this obviously is not. It's just Revlon. So, But that's not a make it or break it. Um, and for like $9 and I mean you can't go wrong. The color I got again is Honey. It was the lightest like pink color they had. Um, and I... I'm obsessed with it. I'm so glad Charlotte suggested it because I probably wouldn't have picked it up otherwise because I just would have been like kind of doubted of I'm so stuck on my tart that I would have been like no it's not going to be good enough but it's awesome. So Revlon Just Bitten um, Balm Stain. This Again this is Honey. I'm excited to see what color Charlotte picks up. Maybe she'll pick up something different. Um, and again, I'm so for this. I would give this 5 out of 5. An awesome, awesome product. So this for sure you need to go get absolutely and what's really nice is like I'm not a big lipstick fan and these don't feel like lipstick that's why I really love like the Tarte and this is because they give that color but not as heavy as lipstick they're just they just stain your lips and they're nice so anyway I love that five out of five six out of five it's an awesome awesome product 
two out of five. I might want to play around with it still or layer it. It's not awful. Um, and then the Beauty Balm, like I said, I think I said I gave it a four out of five or maybe a three out of five. Now I forget. Um, but it's definitely worth trying out. Um, I actually, like I said, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I really like it. It's not obviously something I'm going to use every day to, to cover my face. But for what it's, it is, I think it's a great, great product. And it's an awesome thing to keep in like your beach bag. So that's my reviews. Here's all the products. I hope you guys enjoyed the first one. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for things that you want us to review, a drugstore product, um, let us know. And we will try and review that for you and kind of compare and contrast our reviews. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.